Hey guys, it's me Pinky. A few videos ago I talked about the ancient dust in the shop and that I want to buy it and I explained that I think it's pretty cheap and because of that it's good buy. But a few days ago I then wondered, because my last test of this is actually very 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 long ago, how good is attack, health and defense? Because Basically you can get all the badges and upgrade them all or maybe some badges are so bad that they are not worth it So I guess like why don't I, uh, why don't I take a look again into um, the topic How good is each that? Is, is it really true that attack is a lot better than health, health is good and defense is very bad And if you ask some people defense is actually useless and so I made a bit of testing, I hope it's uh, understandable and I have some results which I want to talk about and some like I don't know conclusions what to do with the results. So as you can see I have quite a lot of hits on rubber groups saved and I um, removed Layla from my lineup. This has a um, well specific reason with Layla this is like totally random or gets a lot of random involved and without Layla Every commander attacks when it attacks, it attacks one time and so on. You have no procs like four times a commander attack. Second one, next fight he, it doesn't and that would like influence the fight very badly. So I just put my Arya there and well, I figured why even put my main hand on Arya. Let it um, be away. As you can see, my stats are well, not exactly low. But I would say for an account of my strength, they are low. This is because I used uh, my normal battle gear uh, without any calf matches. And well, all the fights are with the same base. I don't think the base attack does influence anything in the testing because in every of these fights, the attack has a 28 base attack. So it doesn't really matter in my mind. And yeah, I did um, three attacks without stats. These are those three here. And then I did um, three attacks with 200% um, attack. And then I did three with 200% health and three with 200% um, defense. Why three? Just because um, the fights are a bit random still because, well, the enemy does crit. And there are some things like you can attack a bit harder or a bit less hard with um, certain attacks, so the fights are still a bit randomish, but the um, difference is not that big. I even put my um, like weaker dragon, because it has no red skills, nothing like dragon assist that can influence the result, so I tried to make it like um, as repeatable as possible. Also I picked bleed, because bleed has no um, females themselves, which would make it random, and no um, Peter Bailich, which uh, would make it random against. As you can see, I mean, we could go over every report, but I think it's enough if we just show the screens of the casualties. And then you see, without any stats, any stats from patches, there are on average like almost 500k losses and uh, 250k killed. It's 497, 622 uh, lost and 247, 707 killed on average over these three reports. This will always be like the, the base baseline to compare 200 percent attack, defense at house, and yes I'm aware if you put 8 red attack badges you won't get 200 percent attack, you will only get 160, but I also wanted to compare the stats with each other, so I thought oh, let's put 200 percent every time. Then we have the 200 percent attack, which are those four actually. I misclicked the preset here and then I had <laughs> Layla in and one by accident which was not planned. Also I have more base. Uh, this is not like uh, something you can compare to the others so I took it out. But do three are the um, like comparison with the attack and if you um, check here you see I have 200% um, more cavalry attack all the rest is the same. On, on average I lost with the 200% attack 475,000 841 troops and I killed 280k 203 troops which compared to the um, like no stats is 21k 780 uh, 81 troops less lost which comes from you killing more so if you kill more enemies they strike back less hard so you lose less troops and we killed 32k 496 more 
on average. So if you know the that 200% attack, if you combine my total attack and my attack, is a gain of um, like on attack race 12.6% and you see that I'm losing 4.3% less troops and killing 13.1% more troops can basically assume that 1% attack is worth a bit more than 1% more kills uh, compared to having 1% one attack, one attack less. I will come back to that a bit in the end also because there's something like special about the rebel groups if you look at their um, infantry attack, defense and health, their stats are very very high and most normal people don't have stats like this and if so and if you fight them and you fight with them to win you're probably maxed against another maxed account and then your stats look kind of the same but normally there are no fights with um, these stat differences. The next three are with 200% extra health as you can see again like my cavalry health is 200% higher and the cavalry attack is back down to what was with the no stats or no stats from batches passed basically. Again I misclicked my preset here one which I just kept because it's kind of interesting that you also win with health. Uh, but normally those three reports here are the ones we compare and the win I did ignore. And if you look on to um, plus 200% health, it's a stat rate from 14.1%. The average um, loss and kills are here 429 or 151 and killed are 257. 1,971, uh, which means you lose 68k, 471 less troops and kill 10,264 uh, 10, more troops, which is, um, if you compare it to the no stats, it's 13.7% um, less troops lost because you have more troops and less of your troops get killed. You also do 4.1% more damage. Here you can see that you get 14.1% more stats, basically but only save 13.7% of your deaths. So you can of course argue that house is a bit weaker than attack, but the difference is not that big. Keep that in mind. Uh, then we have those three reports, which are with 200% more defense. As you can see, attack and um, health are back to what it was before, and cavalry defense is raised by 200%. They basically, over the three fights, influence the following. 200% more defense is for me a 19.3% um, stat raise. Why is that? Because my defense is by far my lowest stat. It's kind of hard to get defense and not like got the same amount of health so if you have to pick take 10% health or so defense I always pick 10% health so far like in refinement for example I'm having 320% um, health but no defense because the same stat value why not pick um, health over defense and the average loss here is 449,610 and the average kill is 255,890 79 which is a difference um 48k and 52 troops less lost and 8172 uh, more killed which means in percentage you lose 9.6 percent less troops and kill 3.4 more troops which does show in my mind that health is for sure weaker than defense and health is a bit weaker than attack and that of course shows you that if people tell you attack is better than health, health is better than defense is of course not wrong. By the way, just so we have talked about this, I didn't really look into this here because well, it's kind of random and would like uh, blew up the whole top uh, topic a lot. But just for people that think should I go for synergy or for stats, you see I'm um, back to no stats from patches at all again and I attacked the second time with this and I won, which was not possible with any other with 200% more stats. Synergy is always something you should prefer over raw stats. If your synergy is good, you should again look for your stats, of course. That not just as a, like a small flyway to the topic stats with synergy. If you're still wondering, this should show it quite good. Um, so what can you um, take from here? Well, basically, um, I would like list you all the stats again here so if you are really interested just like 
WordPress path and look into it or take a screenshot for whatever reason you need it. And if not, there are at least some shiny numbers in the background. Well, what I would say is that you should, of course, prefer like, um, if you can pick attack and health badges and do the defense badges a bit like um, with a lower priority. But I wouldn't ignore um, the defense badges or defense in general because um, yes, it's worse than attack and health, but it's not that bad actually. So totally ignoring it would be a mistake in my mind because sometimes you can get some defense really cheap with um, sacrificing a lot less attack then you would gain a defense. And there, I think it's a mistake to ignore it. A simple um, example would be, like if you look on the dragon, uh, with a plus nine calf attack, you get 16%. And of course you um, reduce a bit, like 6.4, which combined is something like 22.4% attack. And if you then look into a plus nine cavalry hearts, um, possibly you get 24% stats and you reduce by 9.6% on um, stats, so you get 30 points, uh, 34 point percentage of health stats. And if you now look at the results um, again, then you will kind of see that attack is not that much better than health is or defense is. If you would have to pick for your last dragon slot and you can pick for attack or health or defense, then in my mind, it's a valuable option to say, okay, um, let's ignore the attack. That of course says I only have 28 base and you could have something like 50-ish realistically. And of course, if your base rises, your attack value also rises um, a bit and then the attack should get better um, again. And there's also another fact you should keep in mind if you look into um, attack versus health is if you um, are beating up weaker people then of course more attack especially with my females which do a lot of damage in the first second more attack will mean you will kill more the enemy will lose more so you will um, lose less troops because they have less troops to find back so if you are fighting against weaker people of course attack is better again but i'm not trying to set up my account as good as possible to fight against weak people. I'm trying to set it up as good as possible to fight against people my size, my power level, call it as you want. And for that, I think it's important to know um, which set is how good and how big are they, like the um, difference actually are. So I hope this was not um, too theoretical and one or two of you could um, take something away from this. Maybe I'm doing the same experiment for um, T5s again, but um, I don't see that this should be changing as much. So if you don't see a T5 video of me um, in the future, then it's for sure because it's kind of the same. And um, if not, I will talk about it someone, uh, somewhere in the future.